Hey guys, I just have a message for you about discernment, how important it is to be discerning in these last days, praying that the Holy Spirit guides us in everything that we do, um, reading the word daily and making sure that everything we're listening to is not taken out of context and making sure that everything we're listening to is biblically sound doctrine. There are a few watchmen out there who are teaching works basically telling people they have to work to go up in the rapture, telling people they need to work for their salvation. That's not trusting in the finished work of Jesus on the cross. We need to discern at all times. I've been watching this one guy for a few weeks now, wasn't quite sure about him in my spirit, so I never shared his videos to this page. I've been discerning what he is saying for the last few weeks, and I asked my mom to be discerning as well. It's important when you start watching someone new that you pay attention to what it is they believe. Discern if they rightly divide. Discern if they're trusting in Jesus. Discern if they're prideful. Discern if they are in it for the money. Discern if they are taking scripture out of context. I don't know if people are out to deceive you or if they're deceived themselves in teaching you what they believe to be true. Let's pray for those who are in error. Let's also kindly remind them to rightly divide the word. Thank God many people in the comments section have been saying this to him. I hope he looks into rightly dividing and corrects his error in a future video. We need to pray that the Holy Spirit guides us at all times and be in the word daily. Recognize that there are different dispensations and covenants in the Bible. I recommend Robert Breaker's teaching on rightly dividing, dispensations, and covenants. We cannot blindly follow men. Back everything you watch with scripture. Discern the truth. And if you are to correct someone, do so with kindness and back it up with scripture. Never do it out of pride. This is all for the glory of God. Let's remember that. Never for our own glory. Never for our own pride. I'm right, you're wrong is not the attitude we are to have in these last days. Continue displaying the fruit of the Spirit, discern the truth, pray for guidance, be in the Word daily, put on the full armor of God to resist the wiles of the devil. And if I ever post anything that doesn't feel right in your spirit, kindly let me know. We see through a dark glass right now. We are seeing in part. While we are in this flesh, we will never see the full picture. I think it's important we pray for our brothers and sisters who are not trusting in Christ alone for their salvation. The works we do is not to earn salvation. It is the change in us. We are new creatures in Christ. We do these things because of our love of the Lord. We earn heavenly rewards, not our salvation. Salvation is a gift and inheritance. You don't earn a gift. You don't earn an inheritance. Trust in Jesus' finished work today. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. 1 Corinthians 13, 12 through 13. For now we see through a dark, for now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. And Galatians five twenty two through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Be sure to be behaving in the fruit of the Spirit, brothers and sisters. Be kind to one another. Love one another. We are in the very last days of the church age, and we just need to be good examples. We need to just continue planting seeds and sounding the alarm in these last days. Spread the gospel near and far. Time is running out. I love you all so much. You all have been such a blessing to me. God bless you all, and Maranatha. Come quickly, Lord Jesus.